talked about was practicing harder. Okay, how many of you guys know how many timeouts I wasted on Friday night because we weren't running to the line? Four. Two in the first half, two in the second half. Because you guys couldn't run to the line. So that is a part that we got to fix today. fast it happens a lot faster than you think as a as a player you know there's not a lot of time in between plays to make the call and all that and uh, another thing that I learned and coach Brenton Elam taught me this that because I remember my first practice when I was going out to be the inside linebackers coach I was so fired up listening to my music just like the players do and all that and he told me to stop like that's not what this is it, coaching is about communication and that kind of set me into a different path. All right, so let the energy build. Okay? A lot of focus today, a lot of intensity. Let's have a good practice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hard work today. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. Okay? So we're we are outside here, and we are taking on number four at the point of attack. Outside shoulder. Yep, outside here. Take his outside shoulder in, because we have linebackers flowing. Remember, the idea with fly sweep is to what? Put it back in, where your help is. Big boy, we got to take him low. Right inside backer. You see down block, we fill the hole now. Okay? They love this zone, this little zone back away from the motion. We have got to get our eyes on the keys. Don't follow the motion. That's not our job. All right? Read your key. Get downhill. Ready, go! 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 Yeah. All right, boys. Word of the day is consistency. Okay. Offensively, 
consistently have to get four yards. Keep the chains moving, right? Yes. Do your job consistently every play. You score touchdown. Defensively, consistently do your job every play. We stop them, right? Yes, sir. Consistently go through your key every play. We stop them, right? Yes, sir. Consistently tackle low, pad levels down, pad up, strike the ball, right? Consistency. Right under hey, the get after them right away. Right under, under, hey, wait, 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 go for it, Break. Fullback, get him. You come, you come, you come. And it's one big lead trail. You're pushing him off to the linebacker. Okay, and we'll let the fullback take this guy. So I just let oh, this guy go. Yeah. Okay. So we need to make that game call loud enough so fullback can hear. So he knows, okay, shit, I got to adjust my path now. All right? Turns it back. He turns it back. Better, DeAndre, better. Fellas, just move your feet. Say, go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, exactly like that. Good, 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 good. Closest man, but what? Deepest, closest man. Who you got? Oh, if there's somebody to the flat, you're just going to take them right now. Instantly. If nobody is, and that's the only reason we're allowed to take the big girl in the club, it's because the threat that he's rolling out. Now, if there's nobody here and he's rolling out, then you just look for the next route coming towards you. Most likely it's going to be over route. You have what? If I'm rolling out this way, deep what? Deep middle. So you got to be, as soon as you see him scramble up, your eyes here in the safety got to go back to the queue, back to the queue. You gotta see what's coming in front of you and what's coming behind you. Cause if you take off right here and they run the post and you leave and you vacate the middle, it's a wrap. Ready, go, go! There we go, there we go. We're not gonna get tired in the fourth quarter. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Push. Tyler, you gotta be faster than that. Push it. You can't get tired in the fourth quarter. Talked about, you got to practice harder. Okay, you service guys, you got to do a better job this week to get this team ready. Take it upon yourself to get them ready. Okay, you guys got to do it, or else we'll have the same thing happen. <coughs> but I tell you what, if you do fix the things from Sand Creek, okay, every little detail that us coaches told you to do, we'll have a lot better week this week. But we got to clean it up. If you don't clean it up, same thing's going to happen. So take it off on yourself to fix your job. Everybody does their job, we should have a good week. Okay? So what we're gonna do now is I want helmets and jerseys. We're out on the field, we're gonna go through some special teams. Okay? So you have nine minutes. That was one thing that I feel that you can, you know, keep yourself or put yourself ahead or kind of like steal some parts of the game if we, you know, put more into special teams instead of just 10 minutes one day and 10 minutes another day and then call it good. It needs to be just as important as the other three, or as the other two offense and defense, and then that last third of the game is special teams. So we're going to focus a lot more on that this year and coming forward. It's, you know, it's very weird because, you know, not a lot of sports, you know, especially soccer, you don't wear pads. And I'm a swimmer too, so that's, it's like the total opposite. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's. I think the first time we got hit in a game, it was, it was definitely a shock. But you know, that's, uh, that's just part of it. 
Hi, my name is Nicole Cummings and I'm Madeline's mom. They had powder puff when I was in high school, but I mean, I like I didn't really have the courage to, to go out for that team. Um, whereas Madeline has, you know, did powder puff and played on a regular football team. So a lot of it just, I think, takes courage. And um, so a lot of times we're, we can be, uh, we're afraid of failure. And I mean, I'm really proud of her for not being afraid to fail. Oh, here it is. Um, I think that's that's her making one of her first uh, football catches and no, 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 no. And then there's her playing some soccer. Do you have any advice to women who want to take part in football? Um, be serious about it. Don't take it as like a, a joke because I I've, I've had some girls come up to me and tell me that that's what they want to do, but you you got to you got to make sure that this is exactly what you want to do because there's no going back. See how good this team can be with our back to this ball and everyone counts us out.
This citizen right here, okay, is why we run hills every day out of practice. Okay? It's for when you get an opponent on their heels, right? We can go out and bury them. Keep the same intensity, keep playing on the ball on the floor, okay? First time I played football, I was about probably around, I think, five, five or six. All right, so let me see. So my small injuries, my pinky, um, I've had a lot of sprains and fractures, but, oh, let's see. This one, my ankle, I broke this bone, I broke this backbone, and then I broke my shin, and it basically cut and tore all my muscles and tendons in there. Um, I cracked a vertebrae somewhere down here. I don't know exactly what vertebrae it is or what it's called. And I broke my arm. I broke it like right on my buckle or whatever this thing's called. I broke it right on here. And then I think those are basically the main the main injuries I've had. My name's Donnie, Justin's dad. Um, when he broke his ankle, that was a pretty scary deal. Um, I thought when he had broke it that he probably wouldn't play again, um, but then uh, he just turned around, did a full 360, and was out there less than a year. So he did pretty good on that part. Just do your job, all right? Communicate. We've got three sophomores right now. We have to communicate, right? If we go on to hold your water, all right? That nose is jumping every time, right? Take the easy five. Got it? Take the easy five and do your job. Justin, we're gonna come, we're gonna run switch because they're leaving you solo over there. And we're gonna run slants and goes with you. And we're gonna make them adjust, okay? What I expect going into college football is there's going to be a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, but I'm going to have to be able to overcome them. And there's going to be a lot bigger size, a lot better athletes out there. But as long as you keep grinding, you'll get there. I'll be fine. It's good! With 8.26 in the first part of the score, hold up seven, seven zero.
I can only give what we do. Communicate. I can't stress it enough. Oh, when the guy wants to sweat, kneel in and in. Let that back know. And play with some heart out every day, man. All right? Be careful because they might want to try and make a statement off the rip. They might go to that, that slow go. They might try to the rip. We need somebody to go out and set the first play of the game. Be a dog today, man. Be a f***ing dog. We not called that for no reason. All right? Let's go out there, man. Let's go. Let's go out there, man. Let's go. Central and Centennial have gathered to play a simple game of tackle football. The contest itself between crosstown rivals, changing very little of its format but adopting a new name in its last 49 years to become simply known as the Bell Game. I'm going to beat Central, okay? That's what you guys got to be focused on this week. Central, not all the other bullshit that surrounds this game, all right? <coughs> One side all red, one side all blue. Uh, just electric atmosphere. The crowd's loud the whole game. Whether you're winning or losing, both sides are going crazy. It's just overall a really cool thing to be a, be able to be a part of. And I I think uh, you know it, it's really a a major piece of history as far as Pueblo. For loss by number 17, Ethan Diego. As a player, it was exciting because you have all this stuff going on at school. Uh, everybody supporting you for that one game. Pretty much all the attention is on the football team for that week. So that's pretty cool. As a coach, it's, it's a bit frustrating because you see how good we could be if we prepared like that every week. If we treated every week like it was the Bell game, we'd be seven and three, eight and two team every year. And so, as a coach, it's a bit frustrating. Good man. Um, it's just get your name, position, and year in school. And that's it. That's all you got to do. 
As a Daniel Culkin, center, uh, junior. Coach X, what does this do to you? You're off in Tarzan. You're on in Tarzan. Go. All right. This is huddle up. Huddle up. Oh wait. All right. Right Tarzan. Oh. You two need to get out and get set right now. Right, now, hang on. Oh. It's got to be first sound. We sprint to the line, get set, hand on the ground, ready to go, and it's got to be quick. You guys are a lucky few to get to play in this game, okay? Um, this is one of the most exciting, best experiences of your life. I guarantee it, okay? I, I was kind of just messing around last night and looking through, and this will be my 40th experience with the Bell game. I played in three, and I've got to coach in 30-some other ones. So it's, it's a pretty special game to me. And we have done some great things the last few years with Coach. And, you know, it just it irritates me that our season hasn't went like we expected it to go. We're a great football team, guys. And there's just been little things, little hurdles that have stopped us from meeting our goals. Okay? And... You know, I, we're out in the community, and it's fun for the community to, to talk about this game because it's the largest game west of the Mississippi. It's the biggest event in Pueblo, Colorado, okay? And you guys are now part of a history, a tradition. You're representing guys for hundreds of years that have played this game. You guys are representing me, because I played in this game. Coach played in this game. Coach played in this game, okay? I got to coach both of them in this game. Uh, and you're, you're becoming part of that. You're representing Centennial High School. So what, what kind of a memory do you want to leave, especially you seniors, about this game? What is the memory that you want to have? I can remember my senior year. I still can. And you guys don't want to know how long ago that was. 1980 was when I played in this game. I can remember it vividly. So what, what memories do you guys want to have this Friday night? Make those great memories. Make it the best that you can possibly have. Make it exciting and fun. You know, I got a, I got a, you know, people in this community, they think they're funny, and so I got this little thing today, and it's, uh, it shows, it shows over at Central, and they've got this, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's a big box, and it's, it's got blue ribbons running around it, and I don't know if you can see it, and the caption is, is, uh, this is the home for the belt we're ready. Okay? So they truly, truly believe that they're going to win this game Friday night. The only people that can change that are you guys. Are you guys. Okay? Like I said, I've been in a lot of these. 
and I've seen them on film. I've coached you guys. You are much more the better football team. Okay? You just got to do things right. Execute, execute, execute. Attention to details. And let's go win us the bell game. This game, it's all on us tonight. We have to move the line of scrimmage. We got to get there. Okay? You move them five yards, we're going to win this game. That's it. That's all it takes. Five yards. That's it. That's all we ask for. Every play, no breaks. Okay? No breaks. Five yards. Okay? Do your job. We're in tonight. Let's go. 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 All hard, boys. Let's go. Hey, trenches on three. One, two, three. Trenches! Stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets that left the bombs bursting in air gave the night that her flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wait for the land of the free and the playing in the bell game. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. There's 14,000 people up there. 
Um, you know, it's so loud you can't hear anything really, and you don't you don't run out of energy, you don't run out of breath. You, it's like the first play for four quarters. I hope every single one of you knows that. It's right. been great, but we're going to rectify the season tonight. You guys got it? We're going to send the seniors out on the right note and get a start for next year. It's All right. right. But we don't accomplish that unless everybody does their job. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go win this thing. Okay, get a break. Actually, your homework this weekend. Okay, I want you guys to think about what it takes to be a first class program. So I want answers come Monday. All right? Let's go, okay, get a break. Get out of here. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Dogs on three. One, two, three. Dogs! Understand this. It hurts, doesn't it? It hurts to come down to one or two plays, and that's it. I love football, but I think it's more of the friends you make become your brothers, and just everything that involves around football kind of like makes football football. So for all conference, uh, let's have to the stage uh, Devin Blue.
like the first play for four quarters so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Good. 